Don't you know that the music should be so- What happened with this taking jamma thing? This is God's honest truth. I, we all got the episode. We, we would get episodes. We'd get two or three before the season started, maybe four. But as the season went on and Sutter and his brilliance and all his writers, we, we would get them a couple of days before, maybe three days before we're actually, you know, we'd have a table read sometimes on the day that we're filming another episode. Always. I got this episode a couple of days before we were going to start filming. And I started reading the episode and it's pretty early on in the episode with the Tig Gemma thing. And, and I, I started reading it and Tig's drinking vodka and, I know where Tig was at that moment. This is the 11th episode of, you know, 12, 13 episodes since the killing of Donna. And, and he's, a, he's a mess. He's doing mushrooms and, and, and holding babies and crying. And he's a mess. And, and, and we all knew now the Gemma, why she's been such a mess, because we just got told what happened in the chapel scene. So I read the scene, and then I read what they're necking and up against the wall. I put, the, I put it down. I put the script down. And I called Sutter. I was at home. And I said, um, I'm not, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. And he said, you're not, what, you're not doing what? I go, I'm not, I'm not doing the whole, the Gemma thing. I'm just not doing it. He goes, where are you? I said, I'm at home. He said, come to the office. Got on my bike, went to the office, had the day off. There he is sitting at his desk. And he says, sit down. I sat down and he goes, what's, what's going on? What's your problem? What's going on with you? And I said, I'm not, I'm not, Clay, I wouldn't do that to Clay. Tig wouldn't do that to Clay. He said, wouldn't do what? And I said, that scene. And, and he goes, well, hang on a second. Hang on a second. This world of the club, one percenters, Sons of Anarchy is filled with sex, drugs, rock and roll, lies, the truth. Yes, it's brotherhood. Yes, it's love. But it's a fucked up world. And at this time, he said, I hope you kept reading. I said, no, I didn't. He said, oh, you didn't read the next scene. I said, no, I did not. I get, well, can I tell you what happens? I go, sure, go ahead. He goes, you go to Opie and tell him that you killed Donna. I, I, I go, I sit back. I look at Kurt and I go, keep going. And he goes, Tink doesn't come on to anyone. Gemma doesn't come on to anyone. Gemma and Tig happened to be at a precipice of pain that they needed something from each other for a moment. And it's Gemma who, who parts her, 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 her slit of her dress. It's, it's, it's her who pulls you. It's you who smells her. It's you that has, has been since the killing. It was, it's such a, like, and, and it, it, it ends, Coatsy. He goes, it doesn't go in. I put my motorcycle back on, I hugged them, I left the room, and then I read the whole thing. And that episode for me, and man, you had so many of them, as did Tig, as did Chibs Bob. We all, when Kurt could write for us, we would have stuff that we'll never forget. That moment for me um, in the show, of being able to do that with Katie, and then go right outside and do it with, with Ryan was, uh, and, and Sutter did a very, I'm going to get to it in a minute about Ryan and me. And the end of this episode with Stahl and Ryan, Sutter did a very good job and Handel and all our ADs of doing things with emotional episodes somewhat in order, mm -hmm. somewhat in order. And that day, that episode, th that scene with Katie was, it was magic, man. It, was, it had it all, right? Didn't it, Theo?